This is him. This is me. Him again. And this is us. For the first time in my life, I'll be traveling outside the country with someone who's so special and dear in my heart. I thought this just happens in a movie, but here it is, an Indian bringing Filipina to his home. You've probably seen my previous videos, but if you haven't yet, go on and check on my vlogs. This is the last part of my 10 days here in Goa. And I'm sure I will definitely come back here. This trip is not about me. This is about him. About his family. About this place. And about his brother's wedding. As much as possible, I don't want to put music, sound effects, or anything on this video. I want it to be raw, genuine, and real as it is. This is Bayi Swapnil, Shubham's brother. This place has stolen my heart and I would love to spend the rest of my life here. This is Daddy Ji. One of the loveliest heart I've seen in Goa. As I'm recording this right now, my heart is full of joy and I couldn't explain how much this place have recorded in my memories, my mind, and how it affected my whole life. It's not just about the food, the places we've been, but how these people are. What a lovely heart they have. You could probably notice my voice is breaking. Yes, I'm so emotional. Probably this is how they call tears of joy. The tranquility, the serenity and peace of beaches here. The fields of coconuts, the friendly and hospitable people. And the freshness of everything had changed my perception of India. Not just about its people, but the place itself. As the cliche says, life is a constant quest of happiness. I couldn't agree more. When I was a child, I want to graduate. When I graduated, I want to get a job. When I got the job, I want to get married. So many mistakes and ups and downs. Intricacies of life. Until I met him. Okay, so this is where I'm staying while I'm here in Goa. And I'm so sad. This is my full last day because tomorrow early morning I'll be going back to Bahia. What I like here is that it's quiet and I can hear the chirping birds which makes me feel like I'm just at home. Mm -hmm. 
is on the first floor. They have different uh, categories of food. They have deluxe, they have like, lower or cheaper ones. So my is over here. Namaste. Huh? Namaste. 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 And see here. Like, I'm afraid of this tree actually. When I'm sleeping in the evening, I always on the lights because I feel like someone is watching. Over. But it's quiet, it's really nice and it's Wherever I go, I really love to take videos, especially to those which caught my attention, like this. Religions are different roads converging to the same point. What does it matter that we take different roads so as long as we reach the same goal? In reality, there are as many religions as there are individuals. Videos makes me remember and relieves the feeling while I was there in reality. It recapitulates memories. Not like pictures, videos could show more emotions. I could say Goa had captured my heart. I just stayed here for like 10 days. No, sorry, 10, yeah, 10 days and nine evenings. But how this place affected me, I couldn't imagine. Each place plays an important role in their history. On the other side, let's not forget about him. Wherever we go, we should always keep our feet in the ground. And remember that up and above there will be always someone who's watching and guiding our steps each and every step of the way. No matter how planned we have or how much prepared we are in the process of our journey, there will be always a guidance, sign, and help from up above. We should never forget this because everything we owe from him. He should be the center of everything. We should remember how grateful and blessed we should be because there's nothing and there will be nothing in this world without him. We can search histories and facts and put it as contents in our blogs. But what I want to portray here is how I feel 
and how this place made me feel. This place make me feel safe. I felt like this is my home from another country. I felt like somehow I was reincarnated from this place. How's your trip in Goa? My trip, my trip. <laughs> Funny and silly it may seem, but when I got here in this place in Goa and I have met people, especially Shabam's family, I don't want to leave. I want to stay here forever. Unbelievable, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the reality. But as what I've said a while ago, no matter how planned we have, and no matter how rigid our visions are, there are some things which is out of our control. All we have to do is to deal with it, go with the flow, and see what we can do. As long as in the end, we will be there when where we want to be, and whom we want to be with. Life is always a matter of choice. Whether it may be good or bad, just make sure you choose the right one and you don't harm other people. There will be always be destructions or even good or shining, shimmering, splendid moments that may blind you and may mislead your way. Make sure you choose the right path. Choose the right people you will deal with or you will listen to. Real life is information superhighway. And not just that. All situations will sharpen you. It may break or it may make you. Just hold on tight, believe in yourself, and make sure that you are surrounded with the right people. Don't be misguided with anything that will break you. Life will be tough or enjoyable. Choose which path you go, but make sure it will make you a better person and it will help your future, the people around you, your future family, your future you children, you and your water. children's children. Whatever this place has taught me, I'll bring it in my whole life. Till we meet again, Goa. And I pray that the next time I'll come, I'll stay here forever. I love you, Nike family. See you soon. God bless.